What's up everybody, Blessed Be, my name is Manon and you are watching Witch in the Working, where we will be discussing all things witchy in and around, throughout and about, above, below, and beyond. Please visit me on my other platforms as well, including Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon, all linked down in the description below. The full script of this video and most of the others is available on my Patreon account for download if desired to build your own Witch in the Working Book of Shadows. Also, please visit my Shopify store listed in the description below to get your Witch in the Working shirts, mugs, stickers, bags, beanies, or what have you. So for starters, uh, this is the big weekend where we get ham-fested, uh, Pink and I. So um, I'm doing a, this video is going to be kind of short. It's not gonna, um, I'm kind of sneaking in to even get this done for you guys uh, to get it out there for Sunday. Um, so it's not going to be a very long video. Uh, I apologize for that. But I feel like it's significant for sure. And, um, you know, sorry, had to sneak it in there. But, you know, I just don't have a lot of time this week. Um, so, but I'm getting something in there. So, with that being said, so we as witches all have a plethora of tools that we utilize in our day to day practice. And most of these are very magical tools that we embrace and honor in a most sacred way, true to our hearts. Whether it be your very special athame or wand or maybe a sacred chalice or even some piece of magical jewelry. Uh, regardless, usually it's something we just can't imagine our practice being the same without it. To lose it would be devastating and outright uh, catastrophic. Uh, I'm a drama queen, what can I say? But anyway, so I've recently discovered there, another tool that I've added to my witchcraft arsenal. Uh, one that may very well surprise many of you, but nonetheless, I feel as strongly about this tool as some of my other tools. I utilize in my day-to-day -day workings, for instance. What is this tool? How do I get one? Where do I get it? And a lot of other answers coming up, so stay tuned and roll the intro. Welcome back everybody. So I decided to make a short video where I can discuss one of my favorite tools and I think one of the best investments that I've made into my witchcraft recently. Technology hasn't always been a part of witchcraft, but when we have access to it in this day and age and we can pull some great information from it, you know, why not? This being said, one of the areas that I suffer in the world of witchcraft is plants, herbs, and tree identification. I know most of us nowadays simply go to a witchcraft apothecary or Amazon to purchase our own herbs and plants, and even some of us grow our own when lucky enough to devote that sort of time and care as well as have a cooperative environment to do so. Since moving from Florida to New England, I've come into a whole new world of plants, herbs, and trees that surround me um, that just wasn't available in my area of South Florida you know, for my whole life when I lived there. So when I got here, I was noticing strange plants and trees all around me that I had no idea what they were, but I could definitely sense a witchy energy from many of them. So the first thing that crossed my mind was to go buy a book um, on local flora. But in doing this research, I happened to scroll upon a phone app that potentially identified plants, trees, insects, and birds by simply snapping a picture of them with your phone. The app had great reviews and tons of downloads, so I figured why not give it a shot? You know, it has a seven day free trial after all, so you know, what's it gonna kill? Now, let me be clear that I am not in any way, shape, or form being sponsored by this application. It's simply an app that I happen to come across that I use almost every day in my witchy little world. If not for some plant or tree, I'm using it to identify a particular insect I happen to cross, and on rare occasions, uh, local birds as well. If I am out and about in the woods, which you all know I spend quite a bit of time out there, I always have my phone with me and it's super simple to bring up uh, Picture This, which is the name of the app, snap a pic utilizing the app, and within seconds it spits back out what the plant, herb, or tree is and also some information along with it. Whether it's poisonous, what it's good for, if it's edible, where it grows, common names and nicknames for it, etc., etc. There's just a bunch of information. Uh, as well as uh, what family it's in and like, you know, other plants that are kind of like it. 
Utilizing Picture of This, I have discovered dozens of plants, herbs, and trees in my area that I would have never given a second look if I didn't educate myself with their identity and uses. Some things I've discovered that grow here locally that I would have never discovered without this app are like, for instance, white birch, witch hazel, mugwort, mullein root, blueberry bushes, mint, wintergreen, holly, trillium, goldenrod, elder, ash, maple, hemlock, bunchberry, laurel, foxglove, sinkfoil, columbine, and yarrow, to name just a few. It blew me away on how accurate the app is as well. As a test, I actually went to a Home Depot and I simply took a pick of an assortment of random plants that they had for sale to see if the app would spit back the correct info, and it was 100% correct with every sample I chose. The app even has an option to snap multiple pictures at different angles of a subject or even for even more accuracy. If, if you feel iffy on a result or just want to you know, get that extra boost of confidence that it's spitting back the right information. Also, it will always display your picture and other pictures it has stored in its database so you can visually compare your subject with others for a more confident result. And it does this with everything, the flora, the insects, and the birds. I wish I would have known about this app years ago, as I would have been using it practically daily this whole time and probably have learned and trained myself to identify more plants and herbs by sight. As far as I'm concerned, every witch who owns a cell phone should have picture this as a part of their arsenal of witchy tools. I've never in my life recommended a tech product as a witchcraft tool. This is the first time. And I'm telling you from my heart, it is totally worth it in my opinion. Like I said, I use this app daily. And there's even a sister product to this app that identifies rocks and crystals for those of you interested in that. So what's the downside to picture this? Well. If you even want to consider it a downside, which I totally um, do not consider this a con, so to speak, it does cost $30 a year uh, subscription. $30 a year, not a month, a year. For the information you learn and the pure joy you get from this app, I honestly would pay $100 a year for it. Totally worth it. I recommend you get it, try it for the seven day free trial. If you don't like it, then don't buy it. I personally love it, as you can see. So I decided I was going to take a trip out to the forest and bring you all along with me while I demonstrate the power of this app called Picture This. I identify various plants, mushrooms, trees, insects, birds, etc. and show you how accurate the program really is and what it looks like when it gives a result and the info it displays on the subject. So let's get out there and uh, we'll check it out.
Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of Witch in the Working. What do you think of Picture This? Is it something you think you might add to your arsenal of witchy tools? Let us all know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that little bell to be reminded of the wonderful and exciting future episodes to come. And remember, the next time you see a video of me, I'm going to be hitched <laughs> to pink. So, all right, guys. I love you guys and gals. Blessed be.